plenty more things I could have done that would have been a hell of a lot worse. Not according to the pinatas we spoke with. Here's something you'd never dream of, unless you're Salvador Dali on an opium jag. The night shift at a pinata factory had a somewhat unorthodox idea of how to celebrate with one of his paper mache friends. You know what? We can't even begin to tell you what he was thinking. Let him explain. You no, know, it's tough in that place because th they leave you alone. And I'm on the graveyard shift in the literal sense of the term. So that, you know, from 12 to 6 in the morning, what else are you going to do? Hell, baseball's over with. I'm not into late night talk shows. And I just got a little vicarious. Violating the English language is bad enough, but look what this guy does to a poor, innocent little piñata. When this tape was discovered, one night shift got one employee lighter. Who the hell is going to put a surveillance camera in a piñata factory? What are you going to steal? The things are hideous. You know, they should pay you to take them out of there. Thanks, we appreciate your artistic sentiments, but the story doesn't end here. Ladies and gentlemen, here is one conspiracy even the X-Files won't touch. I think that they purposely put that dog in there, lured me in, and knew the added extra wires, and that's why my apparatus still hurts. I think I have a, I have a case. I can file for working compensation because I hurt my apparatus in their damn dog. I think they rigged that pinata to get my apparatus. I was entrapped by a dog pinata. Is this guy joking or not? If he is, do you think he is in on that joke? Well, anyway, here are some last words. Tomorrow, after, the, after your 20 million Americans watch this show, they'll all go out and get pinatas, or they'll go out and probably, they'll probably never look at a pinata the same way again.